Hello. If you ever find yourself rushing from a task to the next, constantly doing things without truly slowing down to experience life, to be fully present to life and to enjoy life fully, then you are in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to share with you how to cultivate presence and how to come from a place of being even when you are doing things. The key to this transformation is to go beyond the limitations of the mind, which often take us away from the present moment, and to access the wisdom of your heart instead. And if you would like to have a mind which is balanced, able to be present and free from limitations, don't forget to get my free video course on how to free yourself from worry and overthinking and harmonize your mind. The link is in the pinned comment below. Hello, this is Paula, the Awakening Coach, and today I'm very happy because I'd like to talk to you about something so important that can really make a difference throughout, throughout your whole life and through all your life. The way you see it, life itself and your own personal life experience. And the topic is reclaiming yourself as a human being, letting go of the doing which should be just a consequence of your being and reclaiming the being. Being okay with the space that comes with just being and reclaiming your path and also retraining yourself to this type of life, which is truly your natural way of living, but which has probably been affected by a number of paradigms and conditionings of society and of your upbringing. There's many ideas that we tap into unconsciously or consciously that tell us, for example, that being productive is a good thing, that what you do is a good thing. When we ask other people, oh, what did you do today? Not how have you felt today? What feelings did you feel? Or what inspired you today? It's just what did you do? How productive was your day? Or what's your profession like? What do you do? Things that really don't matter. When we meet another person, we know that we meet a being. We are attracted or, you know, repelled by a being. And the energy that they emanate, the vibes that they carry with them. Our ego might be impressed or not impressed by what they do but the essence of them is what we resonate or not resonate with. And this is really how life works. This is what animals feel immediately when they tap into your energy. They don't care about your profession. They just tap into you. Is this being friendly or not? Does they have an open heart or are they scared? Or what kind of behavior can I have around them? And they feel that just by feeling your energy field. This is what children do as well. And this is what some human beings do consciously and many human beings do unconsciously. But this is what we all do when we tap into the being, the essence. And yet we are born into the illusion that what's important is the doing. And because of that, maybe we fill our days with lots of doing things, with a to-do list. And we feel a sense of satisfaction maybe when we cross some of these things out of the list. And yet this satisfaction is never full, is never fulfilling. The list becomes longer and longer, it's never really finished. There's something else to do which we haven't done and then we feel guilty and not satisfied. And then for the next day, we wake up with another to-do list, going through our days with the doing in mind, never really stopping and feeling what's the purpose of all those doing, that doing? What if the doing was there just to serve your heart? What if there was nothing wrong with the doing, but what if it could be just a consequence of your being? If your heart is calling you to express yourself in a creative way, then great, go ahead and do that. But not because you have to achieve anything, just because you're following a calling of your heart. And what does your heart usually want to do? 
express itself, experience life, expand, explore, commune with the whole of life, with the universe, dance with creation. What if we could always be centered into that aspiration of our heart and then any doing can be just a consequence of that and then our mind can be the servant that allows our be being to realize its dreams what if we could get all this doing stuff the other way around what if that the doing was not the priority at all what if the being was actually what we were called to express, explore, and fully allow to shine in this lifetime. And then the doing does not matter. I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter. You might as well not do it. <laughs> and you know that my invitation is don't do it unless it comes from the joy of your heart, unless it serves you, unless it centers you in your being. Get yourself out of the wheel of the illusion of doing. Just take a break. Don't do it. You know, you might say, well, I have to do it. Then <laughs> that's another bigger story. And if you like, I can serve you and assist you on a one-to-one -one basis to just see how you can redesign your life to serve your heart and how the universe always supports you when you take a stand for that, for coming to your heart center, serving your happiness, your joy, your fulfillment, your purpose, your being, really respecting and honoring and serving that being. And for any pardon you might have absorbed, for any time the teachers would tell you that you have to do, achieve a certain grade, study, or achieve this or that, as, as if that was a value in itself, I allow you to take a deep breath and release all of that BS out of your system. You don't have to do anything. Really, you don't. You can just let it go. It's out of your system. For any time anybody has put value in hard work, hard work for the sake of hard work, would you like to just release that? Then take a deep breath and outside. There's no value in hard work. What's the point of it if it doesn't serve your heart? There is a joy in a job well done, which might require some work but the word hard <laughs> it doesn't really resonate with me some joyful intense passionate work to fulfill that desire of your heart the type of work where you forget what time it is because you're so much in the flow that's serving your heart not hard work for the sake of it and for any time anybody just put value on you because you do something or don't value you because you don't do something. Would you be willing to just release that as well? You can take a deep breath and just release that out of your system because you are you. The value of you is unconditional. You are you, precious, complete, who came here to explore this beautiful miracle that you are in this communion with this beautiful miracle which is the universe. And that's the value. If it serves your joy, your creativity, your peace, whatever resonates with your energy and you want to express and fulfill and feel and expand into this lifetime, what if that was your heart's calling? And I invite you to explore this heart's calling. See what your soul really asks for you. And maybe see the things that actually are not serving you. And I invite you to really maybe decide what fills your heart with joy and what doesn't. And maybe reconsider. Or maybe there are some things that when you do, you chose to do because they fulfill your purpose. Then 
can you recenter yourself in that so that whenever you do that, you know that you're actually fulfilling your purpose and you won't ever feel fatigued or tired and feel the joy of doing it while you're doing it. The joy of doing it because that's, that doing is in service of your heart and your heart's expression. So I hope that this helped and I really invite you to take in what resonates and release anything that doesn't and just consider what words resonated with your heart and take them on board if they do, release them if they don't. And if you would like any personal help, you know that I'm always happy to help with the one-to-one -one coaching, just contact me, leave a comment below and uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions, even in the comment sessions. So I'm wishing you a blessed day, a fulfilled heart, and lots of joy in your life.